Konnichiwa, Japan fans. In today's show, we're going to talk about no change in B2B sales. So let's get going. This is the fourth year of the Sales Japan Series podcast, and we are broadcasting around the world from the Beverly Hills of Japan, Minato-ku. It is Chic Central. I'm your host, Dr. Greg Story, your corporate coaching and training guy committed to your success, the president of Dale Carnegie Training Japan, the best-selling author, Japan Sales Mastery and Japan Business Mastery, and my new book, Japan Presentations Mars, it will be released shortly. In this podcast, I want to help you to survive COVID-19. Don't forget to subscribe and share this podcast with your family, friends, and colleagues. We are not being sponsored by Libsyn, but we value your privacy, which is why we have our podcast hosted by Libsyn, who, unlike many other podcast hosts, have a strict policy that does not allow access to your private information by anyone. Here is our daily podcast lineup on iTunes. Mondays, the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. Tuesdays, the Presentation Japan Series. Every second Tuesday, the Business Touches in No Oshie Show. Wednesdays, the Sales Japan Series. Thursdays, the Leadership Japan Series. And every second Thursday, the Business Pro Podcast Show. Fridays, the Japan Business Mastery Show. And Saturdays, Japan's top business interviews. Now, this is episode number 253, 253, and we're talking about Japan doesn't change at all in B2B sales. I listen to a lot of sales gurus because I am a permanent student. I have noticed there is a consistent theme which comes up. Because being a guru is quite competitive, they have to draw a line between themselves and the rest. The way they do this is to make the point that sales has changed. They then go through introducing their version of the new sales methods for the new era. I was reflecting on this and thinking about sales in Japan. Spin selling, consultative selling, challenger selling, etc. will reflect waves of change in the West. I haven't seen any waves of change much in Japan, so what's going on here? The Japan model reflects some specialities in selling here. The core difference with the West is the decision-making system in Japan. There are tons of books in English on overcoming objections and the 100 closes you need to succeed type of thing. Generally, they come across as quite aggressive and they try to force the buyer into buying. Tricky closing tactics won't work here in Japan for the vast majority of sales. Of course, if the person we are talking to is the owner of the business, then yes, they can make the buying decision. More likely, we are talking to a salaried employee of the organization. They are not the sole decision maker in most cases, and in fact, are more like an influencer. Wrangling them to the ground and extracting a yes out of them just won't happen. There are bound to be a number of division or section heads in the company who need to give their agreement. This is a bottom-up system. It is frustrating to meet the president and think you have the golden entry point to a decision, a buying decision, only to find out that is not the case. The president will push the proposal down the ranks to the person at the bottom whose job it is to do the due diligence on you and your offer. That person will consult with all of those leaders whose sections will be impacted by the buying decision and whom we will never meet and may never even know they exist. Western sales tends to be hand-to-hand, one-on-one combat between buyer and seller. In Japan, it is you against a whole team of invisible ninja decision makers. Find out more when we come back from the break. Our show today is brought to you by our public programs, but we also do custom-made in-house classes. Now, we do them in our super-safe classroom, we do them live online, and we do them in Japanese 
and we do them in English. Now today's show is brought to you by on the 8th of September we're doing negotiations, on the 16th of September we're doing conflict management, on the 19th of October we're doing storytelling. Check out our website www.dale.carnegie.co.jp Get my best-selling books, Japan Sales Mastery. This is the Bible for selling in Japan. Japan Business Mastery, both are available on Amazon. And my new book, Japan Presentations Mastery, will be out in 2021. If you like learning by watching videos, then we have over 1,000 there for you at Tokyo Japan Dale Carnegie TV on YouTube. We release three TV shows every week on YouTube. The Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, that's the premier business show in Japan, comes out Mondays. Fridays, the Japan Business Mastery Show. And Saturdays, Japan's top business interviews, where I interview leaders in Japan from SMEs all the way up to the corporate captains of industry on one topic, leading in Japan. Now, every second Thursday, we release the Business Pro Terebi Show. And don't forget, you can email me at greg.story at dalecarnegie.com. Welcome back. We have a similar phenomenon in the West too. Sometimes we realize the person we are talking to has to become our champion inside the buying organization. In this case, we can't wait for the objections to arise from invisible stakeholders. We need to be proactive with our champion and help them with answers for all of the possible hesitations and objections which may come up. This is the case almost every time in Japan. The other speciality here is that this is the land of the pitch. When I first started selling in Japan, I was trying my best consultative sales methodology on buyers and getting nowhere. They wanted my pitch and just ignored my best efforts to ask them questions about pain points, needs, future desired situation, barriers, payouts, current situation, etc. I was quite shocked. What I didn't realize at the time was that before me had swept in an entire army of salespeople talking features and pricing. I don't know if the salespeople trained the buyers to expect a pitch or whether it was the other way around, but that is where we are still even in 2021. Fundamentally, don't you think pitching your features at a buyer is just crazy? If you don't know the buyer's needs, how on earth do you know which features will be the most relevant? Even ignoring the importance of describing benefits, applied benefits, and evidence for the moment. Dale Carnegie introduced the first ever public sales training back in 1939. Back then, it was all about asking questions to understand buyer needs. Here we are, 82 years later in Japan, and most salespeople are still giving the pitch and asking zero questions. All of these Western guru variations on variations and fine-tuning the semantics of selling have just swept by Japan, uh, which actually is still back in the dark ages of pitching. It doesn't have to be like that. Here is what we need to do to update the sales process in Japan. Ask permission to ask questions. Ask the questions. Decide what is the best solution. Present that solution. Deal with any hesitations or objections. And then ask for the order. If your salespeople are not doing this, then you have to ask the question, why? Also, when are we going to do something about bringing Japan into this century? What are you doing about it? Thank you for joining the Sales Japan series. If you found the program useful, please work on your karma 
and share it with your family, friends and colleagues. Don't forget to subscribe and share this podcast immediately. Apply what you've learned today. Use it and go out there and survive. Remember, I'm your corporate coaching and training guy in your corner, committed to your success here in Nippon. Nippon.